Unit 3, Lesson 4, Converting Units. Number 1. Priya's family exchanged $250 for 4,250 pesos. Priya bought a sweater for 510 pesos. How many dollars did the sweater cost? $250 was exchanged for 4,250 pesos. And she paid 510 pesos for the sweater. How many dollars did this sweater cost? We need to figure out the amount that goes in this box right here. That'll tell us how much the sweater cost in dollars. I'm gonna divide this by 250, that equals one. And I need to divide 4,250 by 250. And that's gonna be the same as seeing how many times 25 goes into 425. How many times does 25 go into 42? Goes in once. 12 minus 5 is 7. 3 minus 2 is 1. Bring down the 5. How many times does 25 go into 175? I know 25 goes into 104 times, and 25 goes into 75 three times, so this would be 7. 7 times 25 is 175. We have nothing left over. So one dollar is worth 17 pesos. If one dollar is 17 pesos, then three dollars would be 17 times three. 510 divided by 17 equals the cost of the sweater in dollars. 30 is 10 times the value of three, and 510 is 10 times the value of 51. So we know that the sweater costs $30, 30 US dollars. And to get this one here, it'd be 17 times 25, and that's 425. Number two, there are 3,785 milliliters in one gallon, and there are four quarts in one gallon. For each question, explain or show your reasoning. A, how many milliliters are in three gallons? 3,785 milliliters in one gallon, so in order to turn that one gallon into three gallons, we need to multiply it by three. So if we multiply 3,785 by three, we would get 11,355 milliliters in three gallons. B, how many milliliters are in one quart? So if there are four quarts in a gallon, if we divided that by four, we could end up with one quart. So here's a gallon's worth of milliliters. We gotta divide that by four to figure out how many milliliters are in one quart. And I know that one left over four is the same as one quarter or 0.25. So there's 946 and a quarter milliliters in a quart. 946 and a quarter milliliters equals one quart. 946 and a quarter milliliters equals one quart. Number three, Lynn knows that there are four quarts in one gallon. She wants to convert six quarts to gallons, but cannot decide if she should multiply 6 by 4 or divide 6 by 4 to find her answer. What should she do? Explain or show your reasoning. If you get stuck, consider drawing a double number line or using a table. She should divide 6 by 4 and that would give her 1.5. 6 quarts would equal 1.5 gallons. Number 4. Tyler has a baseball bat that weighs 28 ounces. Find this weight in kilograms and in grams. Kilograms are just about 35 ounces. Tyler's baseball bat weighs 28 ounces, and 28 ounces is less than 35 ounces. So I think the weight in kilograms is actually gonna be less than one kilogram. One kilogram is about 35 ounces. His bat weighs 28 ounces. 28 divided by 35 equals 8 tenths. So we multiplied 35 times 8 tenths to get 28. So we need to multiply 1 by 8 tenths. And 1 times 8 tenths would get us 8 tenths. So his bat weighs 8 tenths of a kilogram. Eight tenths of a kilogram. Just short of one kilogram. But we also need to figure out the weight in grams. So we need to multiply this number right here by a thousand. One easy way to do that is to move the decimal point over three times. This is ten times bigger. 
a hundred times bigger, a thousand times bigger. The decimal point is now over here, and we fill these in with zeros, so it becomes 800. So it's actually about 800 grams and about eight tenths of a kilogram. So Tyler's baseball bat weighs eight ounces, which is just about 800 grams or just about eight tenths of a kilogram. Number five, identify whether each unit measures length, volume, or weight. A mile, that's length. A cup, that's volume. A pound, that's weight. A centimeter, that's length. A liter, that's volume. A gram, that's weight. A pint, that's volume. A yard, that's length. A kilogram, that's weight. A teaspoon, that's volume. A milliliter, that's volume. Number six, a recipe uses seven ounces of almonds, five ounces of raisins. Almonds and raisins are the only ingredients. How many ounces of almonds would be in a one pound bag of this trail mix? Seven ounces of almonds plus five ounces of raisins equals 12 ounces total. I know that 16 ounces equals one pound. 16 divided by 12. 12 goes into 16 once. 1 times 12 is 12. 16 minus 12 is 4. And we have 4 twelfths left over. Let's go ahead and make a decimal out of it. How many times does 12 go into 40? 3 times 12 is 36. 4 left over. So this is just going to repeat itself. So we need to be multiplying it by 1. 0.3 repeating. Seven ounces of almonds with five ounces of raisins. This is almonds, this is raisins. Seven ounces of almonds plus five ounces of raisins. That's a total of 12 ounces. And we need to make the 12 ounces become 16 ounces because 16 ounces equals one pound. 12 times 1.3 is going to equal 16 ounces. So we need to multiply seven times 1.3. Seven times 1.3 repeating, and that equals 9.3 ounces. So since there's 16 ounces in a pound, we needed to multiply 12 ounces times 1.3 repeating to get 16 ounces. So we needed to multiply the seven ounces of almonds times 1.3. And I figured that out by doing 16 divided by 12. 16 divided by 12 gave me 1.3 repeating. 1.3333333. So then we multiply this times seven and we get our answer. 9.3 ounces of almonds in a one pound bag of trail mix. Number seven, an ant can travel at a constant speed of 980 inches every five minutes. A, how far does the ant travel in one minute? Five divided by five equals one minute. 980 divided by five. because six times five equals 30, and then we have no remainder. So 196, 196 inches in one minute. B, at this rate, how far can it travel in seven minutes? One thousand three hundred seventy two inches in seven minutes. The ant can travel one thousand three hundred seventy two inches in seven minutes. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 3, Lesson 4 Converting Units.